Farmer recorded data is an important element of the Eurostar index system. It is for this reason that it is a key requirement of the Beef Data and Genomics program. All herds participating in the BDGP have received an Animal Events Recording Notebook. The purpose of this notebook is to aid farmers in the recording of data in the field prior to recording the data online or through animal survey forms. For all calves born in the herd, you are required to record the sire and calving ease. It is important to properly understand how to assign each of the calving ease scores. One, normal calving, should be assigned where a cow calves completely unassisted. Two, some assistance should be assigned where a cow is assisted in some way without the use of a calving jack. Three, considerable difficulty should be assigned where a cow is assisted with the use of a calving jack. Four, veterinary assistance should be assigned where a vet is required to assist a natural calving or to carry out a caesarean section. Birth size and calf vigour must also be recorded for all calves born in the herd. I'd score this calf at small. He was, he was actually slightly premature. Um, so, but saying that, he was very vigorous, extremely vigorous. He was up and sucking within five to ten minutes and we didn't have to, didn't have to do too much with him. So he, he'll be getting a very vigorous score in, uh, in terms of the calf temperament. And um, yeah, and size-wise, I would have him as small. He is smaller than when he was born uh, than, than the average calf here. Again, that's a figure that you base on your own herd. Once calves have reached five months of age, you are required to score them on docility or temperament and quality. It is important that you only score calves in comparison to their herd mates. These, these are my weanlings and they will be judged on um, docility and quality. Uh, like the other traits, they will be judged on a within herd basis. Uh, again, you can't judge on how quiet or, or on, on how quiet your neighbour's cattle are or what quality your neighbour's cattle are. You have to judge the stock against their contemporaries. You're looking out for your animals that are the extremes, either difficult with their temperament are very quiet with their temperament, are extremely poor quality, are very good quality animals. Um, quality is something that's it's, it's down to the farmer. Every farmer has their type of animal or type of weaning might be completely different, yet the quality, they might both have excellent, but it's in a within herd basis that you're judging all this against. There's a pen of 21 heifers here and this would be the poorest heifer of the bunch. Um, I still wouldn't have her as poor, as I think she could be, I have probably an animal that's worse within the herd. So I would have her just below average at, at best. Um, whereas this heifer here behind her, and, and even this one and this one, they're floating between good and very good in terms of quality. Um, the, I, I aim for a consistent bunch and you can see it across them. Like she, she stands out as the poorest one for a reason. A little bit harder to pick the best ones, so again, you judge your animal, you're seeing your calf from when it's born to when it's weaning. So you're not judging this on one day, especially the temperament. Quality maybe, you will judge it on the day because yes, that animal is performing better. Um, but temperament, temperament is, you're seeing that from the moment they're born to the moment you sell them or you keep them for cows. Um, and I think any, any of your animals that are very difficult with temperament have no business being used for replacements whatsoever. Um, any instances of scar or pneumonia in calves must also be recorded. All cows which calve in the herd must be scored for docility and milkability. Again, it is important that you only score cows in comparison to their herd mates. As you can see there, visibly, uh, she's a two-year-old heifer and um, she's an excellent bag of milk. Um, it's a trait she's carried on from, from her own line, so she will, be, she will be scored very highly. She'll either get a good or very good in terms of milk. Um, I'll make the final decision up on that at weaning time. Um, it's very easy to judge a cow now when she's at her peak in terms of uh, other size of calving. And the other thing I'll score for is uh, docility. Um, this is an extremely placid heifer, 
very easy to work with. So again, she will get, um, on, on the scale, she will get a quiet or very quiet, depending on how the year goes. Uh, one thing I do always do is, you have to score your cows in the context of your own herd. It's not your neighbor's cows, if they're quieter compared to them, it's within your own herd. So she's gonna score very highly, whereas I'll have cows that will score probably lower. They're, they're difficult to work through the crush, etc. They're difficult if you're moving through paddocks, uh, cows that you don't bring out on their own. And uh, the silly is something that you don't make your mind up on, on one certain day. But if you were to make a decision on it at some point, uh, calf would be one of the best, as that's when they're at the most defensive. Um, so if, if a cow, if a cow is too defensive at calving time here, it's a kind of a black or yellow card for her. And in terms of docility, I'll be scoring this code very quiet. All stock bulls which sired calves in the herd must be scored for docility and functionality. Functionality relates to the bull's feet and legs and his general ability to work. Yeah, I would put um, I would put a score very quiet on this bull in terms of docility. Uh, this is he's heading for his fourth breeding season on the farm, and, and throughout that time, he's been extremely placid and a, a pleasure to deal with so far. Um, and his functionality, he got a little bit lame after last year's breeding season. Uh, so I'll see how the breeding season goes before I decide whether I'll go good or average on him. Um, but again, he has done four. He's done three uh, breeding seasons here, and he hasn't been an issue. So. I'll probably veer towards giving him a score of good. For any cows or stock bulls which are culled from the herd, culling reasons must be recorded. You may record up to three culling reasons for each animal. Uh, last year we, had, we ended up culling eight to ten cows uh, for various reasons. Um, fertility, we had a few not in calf. Uh, we also had a number of lay calvers that we sold because we wanted to reduce the workload and tighten the calving pattern. Uh, we also had four cows that some themselves and others their progeny had temperament problems so the best way to remove the temperament problem was to, to have the cow culled and uh, we also had we had one cow that got lame so she went and last year we also had an incident with a bull who, um, who got damaged during breeding season and had to be culled and um, we're constantly looking at two our cows to see we, we leave our cows culled themselves move the problems first rather than us visually deciding I don't like this cow. This cow in particular, um, she's one that could possibly be called out this year. There's a question mark over her. Uh, she's gone late um, on the back of repeating to AI um, after we lost the bull last year. And also a lot of her progeny would have temperament issues. Um, she would be kind of a grandmother of some stock that, that we would have had issues with. So she's a cow that would be down the list in terms of returning to the bull for this year. The data must then be transferred to the ICBF database. This can be done online through the Department of Agriculture, Food and the Marine website www.agfood.ie The ICBF website www.icbf.com or where applicable through a farm software program. Alternatively, data can be recorded via survey forms which farmers will receive by post. When filling survey forms, simply circle the relevant scores for each animal. Survey forms should be returned in the envelopes provided. Where feasible, farmers are encouraged to record as much data as possible via the online methods. It is important that you take the time to score your animals as accurately as possible. Accurately recorded on-farm data will benefit you, the farmer, through more reliable Eurostar indexes.